All right, welcome back to Dinner Television. It's time to talk a little bit of sports. And I know that all of Edmonton is in like a buzz about the uh, NHL mm. season getting going and like all those changes they want to see finally make happen with the Oilers. And earlier this week, I know we were at the uh, Oilers Bears game, yes, which was really Wednesday exciting. Yeah. And um, I just want to ask you your thoughts on a couple players, um, especially Leon Dreisaitl. Mm. Yeah, Leon, I mean, he's played excellent through uh, the, you know, he's kind of started slow through the rookie camp. He got going and, and Wednesday, quite honestly, I thought he's the best player on the ice, even more so than Connor McDavid. And that's saying quite a bit how much, you know, that, that says about Connor. Um, but, you know, a lot of talk's been made about him being on the wing. And from what I've seen him play through last year and through this year, I, I don't like him on the wing. I don't think he's a winger. There's a couple of reasons. One is that he doesn't have that, that, that mindset of always moving his feet and skating all over the place. As a winger, you've got to cover a lot of ground. You have to cover it with speed. Uh, the centers a little bit, they can cheat a little bit, they can more swoop open for speed or, or, or swoop, swoop open to get open, get the puck and then use their speed to get going. It's not that Leon's slow, it's, I just don't think he has a mindset of a winger to forecheck, um, to get in there and, and do all those types of things. So I think the orders will be doing themselves and Leon a disservice by creating a winger out of what is a, could be or is a highly touted Center process. Now, I'm just curious because you say you don't think he's got the mindset. He's obviously yeah. a very talented yes. player. Yep. But then what, maybe this is early, early in the season. Mm. They're trying different things out. Do you think it's just that he doesn't have that confidence in that position and that, you know, he's kind of mentally trying things out in the preseason? Uh, you know, it's not that he doesn't have a confidence. He's, I think he's a very confident young man and he's got all kinds of skill. I think that's why they're trying to push him in the top two lines because they want to have that skill mm -hmm. beside a McDavid or beside a Nuge. I mean, there's, there's lots of talent there. That's not the problem. The problem is that to play wing it's just a different way you have to continually be skating be moving and Leon he, he doesn't play that kind of game he almost slows it down a little bit he likes to slow the game down and that's not a knock that's just the way when he slows the game down he finds those open seams and he's able to make those nice passes mm -hmm. especially on his back and he's very dangerous so you know I, I just don't think moving forward that's the right move for for him or the Oilers so Strads, I've got a question let's say you're the GM or let's say yeah. you're Todd Nelson would you keep him on that second line or would you make him a center on the third I honestly, I'd probably start Leon in the minors. I want him to learn yeah. to be the best possible center he can. And then if you figure that, you know, you got Connor Nuge and it's too much of a luxury to have Leon as your third centerman, Leon would be a great, great trade break for whatever you need. If there's a weakness in D or goal or whatever there may be. But you just, you don't make a lead singer or backup singer. And that's what I feel what they do by putting Leon on the wing. Okay, Strud's always awesome having uh, hearing your insight. I seriously think you're just making a play at being the GM with all your smarts here, okay? I'm worried. Yeah, we're going to yeah. lose him. Stay as the co-host here. Uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, we're going to take a short break on dinner television. Stay with us.